What's up Sim Racers, Larry TJR Sim here and today we are checking out race room racing experience with the Samsung Odyssey with the new CPU build, the new PC build. This is the X series CPU uh, 7820X. I'm running a 1080 Ti uh, GPU and uh, yeah this game's pretty CPU bound uh, more so than GPU. Uh, but yeah let's check out the settings here and you know, this is kind of hit and miss, but it's hard to tell what your FPS is in Race Room, but I did get it working at one particular time with the Steam FPS counter. Uh, so what you want to do is go to Steam, Settings, and then come over here to In-Game, and then you'll see this In-Game FPS counter is bottom left is where I have it. You can do bottom left, bottom right, uh, top left, top right. However, I suggest you do bottom left or bottom right. Bika and also check the high contrast color on so it'll be in green you can see it easily uh, but the reason you want it on the bottom left or right of the screen is because whenever you put the headset on it should show here you will get that blue uh, bar across the top that you just saw uh, which actually covers up your FPS counter so it's kind of counterproductive right there so anyway do that and uh, like I said it's hit and miss sometimes it shows up in the bottom sometimes it doesn't I got lucky here and got some testing in done uh, today with it and uh, these are my results so jumping into it race room to set it up in VR if you don't know uh, you already see it here to, uh, it doesn't say play in VR for some reason but uh, properties set launch properties this is at uh, where's my little magnifier here come on uh, I have this at negative VR space 2.0 uh, it's 2.0 super sampling 200 uh, percent default if you just have negative VR like that it will default in game to 1.5 super sampling if you're gonna run shadows of any kind uh, low to lowest uh, I would suggest you just leaving it negative VR and let it default to 1.5 and that's probably about the best you're gonna get uh, as far as uh, looking decent uh, but anyway I have it at as you saw 2.0 hit OK close that back hit close I'll close that weird it doesn't say uh, launch in, in VR here. I'm gonna close Steam, reopen Steam, and see if it'll it'll jive with me here. Does not still. Well, okay. Normally you'll have play in VR and you'll want to click uh, 64, but I will come over here and launch it with my run the game VR uh, from my. Um, next level racing uh, motion simulator. I'll do it that way. Hopefully this will work. Letter launch. And the reason I go 2.0 instead of uh, 1.5 is that, you know, race room doesn't look that great, guys. Um, even on a 2D screen, it's not that brilliant. It's not like you're looking at R Factor 2 or you're looking at uh, Oh, look, I got an FPS counter down there. Good, it's working this time. That's great. Uh, now, if you're in VR, just before I you know, get off the subject of it, not looking that great, uh, I'm looking down, and then I see it down there. I have a mappable button. You'll want to click something, right, uh, like your mouse key, and you'll want to map uh, your, uh, your, what am I going to say? map a button on your button box or your wheel or something uh, so you can populate it to recenter your your headset here okay and you also I can take my headset off but it's a black screen behind me you also want to map another button because you can't see what I'm talking about to turn the screen on screen on which now you can see the screen right I'll take my headset off all right so uh, yeah, you couldn't see what I was looking at. So I was looking down on the screen, and this screen was 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 way below you. You want to click your mouse button, uh, have a mappable button, uh, and uh, move the screen up. So it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, at your very first setup. But let me show you how to set that up real quick. Go to Options, and go to, let me see, 
Control settings, controller profiles. No, let's see, primary. No, nope, that's not it. Secondary. That's it. So go to secondary functions, and here you'll see VR reset position. And all you do is click that, and then select a button on your wheel, or your, if you have, you're like me running DSD button boxes, do that. And then also you can select, uh, let's see, do, 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 world skill, VR increase. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, this uh, head head movement is pretty cool too to increase and decrease your head movement, especially if you're running motion uh, to increase and decrease it. But anyway, back to this. Where is it at to turn the screen on? Oh, okay, here I'm sorry. Toggle monitor view right here. So you want to set a button to that as well, especially if you're you plan on doing some recording or you want someone else in the room to see what you're seeing in the headset. You'll want to set a button to that one. So that's the two buttons there to set it. So let's get into video settings. And this is, you want to come to custom. None of this stuff matters. Uh, come to custom. And what I have on now, that to keep in mind, I'm running Super Sampling 2.0, uh, 90 FPS right now because we're just in the menu. You will, i turn that off there. Uh, Toggle mirrors on, VR, you want them on. Track level detail on medium. If you are suffering some frame rates with your particular CPU, remember this game is very CPU bound. Um, turn it down to low. I was able to turn it up to medium. Uh, see a few more uh, characters on the screen. Uh, it's hardly even noticeable. But just for the sake to try to maximize everything out in this video, a medium worked fine. Uh, low distance. This actually hits your FPS pretty hard, and this is your car uh, uh, length of distance away from you uh, settings. How 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 they look at a distance in VR. It's not very um, you can't see very far anyway in VR. So it's best just to leave it on low. Um, I'm sorry, you can't you can see far, but you can't see with great clarity. And I was hoping this was actually going to improve the clarity at further away, but it actually didn't. It just hit my FPS harder. So I would just leave it on low. Uh, particle detail, I have that on high. So that's your tire smoke, uh, gravel, stuff like that. Uh, leave it on high. It doesn't seem to hurt anything. Tire marks on. Specular on. So a little bit of the sun coming through the trees kind of thing. Uh, car reflection on high. Uh, track animations off. Shadows off. Now, if you put it on lowest or low, hell, even if you put it on high, shadows look like crap. Okay, I think they're broken in this game, and uh, you know, it's just, it's just, shadows look like they're done by done in Minecraft. Okay, it's blocky, so I, I would leave it off uh, to get the smooth gameplay that you want in VR. Race room's uh, kind of particular about uh, the frame rate. Anything. You know, 75 and lower tends to look blocky, uh, um, uh, jittery on the screen and stuff. So your sweet spots anywhere in the 80s, the 90s is re really where you want to. It's different than, say, like Project Cars 2. You can have in the 60s and still have smooth gameplay. But with Race Room, it really needs to be up higher in the range to uh, make the gameplay as you're passing cars. They look smooth, that kind of thing. So uh, anyway... If you put it on lowest or low, uh, you will have some shadows from trees and, and whatnot, uh, but they look very blocky. Uh, just doesn't look good in my opinion, and it really hurts your frame rate. So I run it on off to each of their own. If you're gonna run it on lowest or low, low is the highest I would go. Uh, you're gonna wanna drop your super sampling down to 1.5, maybe even 1.3. I was doing it at 1.5. Uh, and still getting high FPS in the 70 range, 60 to 70 range with that on low. Uh, but that was with everything else on low, okay? So, uh, but this is kind of the best of both worlds is what I found. Where did my shadows go? So, anyway, enough of that. Off, car shadows on. So, with the car shadows on, you still, the cars aren't floating on track. You still have a little bit of shadow in underneath them. Contact shadows 32, just have it maxed out. Didn't really notice the difference between uh, the lowest setting, which is one R32. Split shadow on, 
Uh, multi sampling eight times. This is how as it goes. FXAA off because in VR that really looks bad. It, it uh, blurs the edges of the images. Uh, so it looks real bad. Uh, bloom off, depth of field off. Of course, that's normal. Uh, actually, bloom, it doesn't matter if you turn it on or off. It won't keep the setting for me. So, to each their own, maybe you have some good luck. But this is even with a new PC build. It didn't work with the old PC build. It was just doesn't work. Uh, so, leaving it off. Uh, motion blur, of course, that's off. Uh, quality's defaulted to low. Light shaft's off. Another one of these settings race room it doesn't matter if i leave it on when i come back to the menu system it's automatically turned off so i just leave it off uh, lens effect on get a little bit of lens effect going on when you're looking around texture quality car texture uh quality on high and uh rear view mirror quality on high and actually that makes a pretty big difference there uh your mirrors do affect your frame rate uh, this particular car I, I don't run the mirror above my car in vr it's just tiny uh, but uh, all your regular in-car mirrors and stuff I leave on and uh, they look really good with it on high uh, it looks a lot better uh, identifying the cars behind you but I was able to run it on high looking good shader quality on high uh, didn't seem to matter with the obviously with the shadows off uh, corner markers off visible cars 10 this was kind of important once you go past like 13 uh, 13 it uh, tends to hit your frame rate quite a bit. So those are my settings there. This is 2.0. I'm going to jump in the game and let you look in the bottom left of the screen here uh, as I'm playing periodically. Look at that. Hopefully it shows up in the video. Uh, but I'll try to peek out of my headset and let you know uh, what I'm seeing there. We'll go to a single event and I'll just run a few laps. I got the volume turned down, I believe. Go to race. This is 12 cars. Got my headset on. One other annoyance about the HMDs, uh, like the Odyssey and stuff, is it doesn't recenter quite as fast as you want. So it may recenter in the game. Uh, so, in other words, when I push my body physically forward, I see the screen kind of go away from me instead of me moving within the space. So. Uh, it auto corrects after uh, a little bit. Uh, it's not too big of a deal, but it is a little bit of annoyance in the beginning. All right, continue, continue. I am going to make sure my sound, yep, 5%. And let's race. Now. I got my motion rig on as well. I think it's set on automatic, actually on default. For some reason, race room resets it on auto. Don't know why. But the cars actually look pretty good. As good as they're gonna look, I think. Uh, I'm trying to recenter here. Nice and shininess going on it. The reflection of the cars, you know, they look shiny. I don't think race room does a good job with the, uh, Reflections going across the cars that just kind of look kind of fake. But the gameplay is very smooth and the uh, sounds in Race Room are amazing. Whoa, the AI sucks. <laughs> Let's get back into the race here, see what we got going on. Alright, let's just restart it. Trying to do this in one take. What's my FPS now? 83, 88, 87. That's actually a pretty good start. You'll know if this is going to drop in AC increase mode right here at the start. If it doesn't, uh, pretty safe bet that you're not going to have the problem. But yeah, see, like you see the reflections off that other car uh, of the environment. It just looks kind of funny to me. But when they're up ahead of you and stuff, and you're just driving through traffic, the reflections look pretty good, the cars are shiny, so that's why I put them on high. The gameplay is very smooth. Uh, the physics in Race Room are really good. 
really enjoy those. The sounds are the best. Okay, my HMD finally snapped back into place where now when I lean forward in the VR space, the screen doesn't go away from me. See? Uh, the edges of this, you know, console here are very smooth at 2.0. Looks way better than it does like at 1.5 super sampling. Uh, so those are some of the things you notice. The edge details of the hood I'm looking at very smooth with that HMD with it at 2.0 and I get some still sun shining in on the car uh, you see the sun reflection on the other cars as well uh, even though the shadows are on none right so uh, but that's just you know this is an old an old uh, you know graphical engine so it's not very optimized for VR so this to me is is the better of of the settings to just run the shadows on off, crank up the super sampling, and get really smooth gameplay and it not look so pixelated. Even at distances with it on 2.0, it doesn't look near as pixelated as it does at 1.5. Uh, and you're passing buildings and stuff and they look very smooth instead of it stuttering going past. You put the shadows on, that does not look smooth at all, it's stuttery. So hopefully this will help y'all guys out. Uh, I'm very impressed with the uh, CPU, what difference it made uh, in this particular game. I hope one day they'll actually rebuild Race Room uh, with a new engine. Have DirectX 12. Uh, just bringing it to the, uh, you know, something like I said, of course, a, a competition is doing. Because uh, Race Room is actually a really fun uh, sim. You just got to get past the eye candy in it, you know? I notice even with Bloom turned off, you, you still clearly see the tail lights light up in front of you. So that's not really a problem like it is on some games like I said of course. Uh, I haven't been paying attention to my frame rate, but I have noticed there hasn't been any asynchronous mode going on. See what I'm at right now, it's crowded, 89 FPS. Yeah, it's a good time to check when you're in a crowd. Man, it looks good. See the Brembo on the calipers there. I looked over. See, now the mirrors, I'm looking in my rear view mirror there, or my side mirror rather. And man, these cars look good in the side mirrors. Now that's actually fairly, uh, I want to say impressive, but it's, you know, it should be a standard thing nowadays. But that actually looks really good. Inside the car looks real nice. All the textures are very smooth with this setting. And when you're approaching these cars too fast, you know, when you take the stutters out of the game uh, that you get with running shadows, you're able to really maximize your, your driving because you can come up to the very edge of the cars without hitting them uh, because they're not stuttering by you. Looks very smooth. So I'm just sitting here by this car. Very smooth. No clipping, no stutters, just smooth butter actually. I like it. Running wide. Came up the inside. Yeah, that car on high with the reflections on high looks nice, nice and shiny. It looks good. Looks like it got a fresh coat of wax on it. Anyway, I hope this helps everybody. I think this is probably enough gameplay after the fact of my settings. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below of what you may like. Maybe you like the shadows. You know, it's a must for you to have shadows. What settings are you running when you're running the shadows? Uh, let us know. Other people can learn from you as well. But this is my settings and what I actually like the most. Uh, getting the most out of this game. I mean, after all, I want to be fast in the game. 
I want to have no stutters, no lag of any kind as the most important part. You can see all the flames coming out of that car when you shift there. Huh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Comment below. I'm out.